was the goal to to be on Broadway at some oh, point? Oh yes, and my so, my goal was to be on Broadway since I was a little girl. Like absolutely. that was always that was the ultimate dream, you know. Still, and, yeah, by the way, yeah, like, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. and I think that I think that's interesting. I would I would love to be on Broadway. That's been my dream since I was a little girl. But I yeah, Broadway would be amazing. You don't understand. <laughs> you don't understand how exciting this is for me. Okay, whew. Girl, I have been keeping this secret from you guys for so long. I am so, so excited to announce that I will be playing Dawn in Waitress on Broadway. Waitress is an incredible musical. It is definitely my favorite musical on Broadway right now. It has been my favorite musical on Broadway for a long time. I've been obsessed with it. For, since it came out, since I was shooting Haters Back Off season one in Vancouver, Corey and I would listen to the soundtrack on repeat in our apartment when we lived in Vancouver. And every day, I would put on repeat When He Sees Me, which is the song sung by the character Dawn. And I love that character. It's right up my alley. I love the song. I love all the music. The music's written by Sarah Bareilles, who I'm obsessed with, who's a queen, and just a musical genius. There's so many things I want to say in this video, guys. Like, I don't even know where to start. Oh no, I woke up my baby. Okay, I'll be back. Back. Okay, he's back asleep. Sorry about that. No, did he wake up again? I think he's asleep. Okay, I need to hurry up and make this video before he wakes up for good. Okay, so obviously I am so excited to be on Broadway. This has literally been my dream since I could speak. If you've been watching me for a long time, you know I'm a total musical theater nerd and I have been since birth. And anytime anyone asks me what my number one dream is, it has always been to be a mom, to be a performer, um, but specifically to be a performer on Broadway. Like Broadway is like literally the top of the top and I never thought it would happen for me. I thought that this was so out of my reach. Like you have no idea, like if I could tell that girl who was like in the ensemble in every show, like in the background, just desperately trying to like do my best and give 100% even though I only had like one line. Okay. I'm not gonna get emotional. I've got information to give you guys. So I will be playing Dawn and Waitress from August 20th to September 15th. It's a short run. Who knows if I'll ever get the opportunity to do this again, but I'm just like, oh my God, just get your tickets. Get your tickets because it's not very long. Like I'm not gonna be there very long. So I want you guys to see me living my dream. And Broadway tickets are expensive, y'all. So to make them affordable for you, the people at Waitress have been really kind and have given me a special code. And if you guys use this code, you can see me in my first week of performances and get up to $70 off, which is so nice because Broadway tickets are expensive, y'all. So that was very nice of them. And it makes it so you guys can come see me. I'm so excited and I'm so nervous and I'm all the things. For the last 10 years, I've been touring all over the world as my character, Miranda Sings, but I have not really had the opportunity to play other characters in the last decade, especially not on freaking Broadway. So I'm really, really nervous to do a new character and to get on stage again and do eight shows a week like the professionals do it out there in New York City. I'm terrified, I'm so excited. <sighs> you guys, this week has been absolutely nuts. My Netflix special came out and there was a billboard with my freaking face on it in Hollywood. My face is in Times Square right now. Like there's so many insane, wonderful, crazy things happening. I just started up my tour again. I'm on tour right now and I just had my first performance. It's a whole new show with a bunch of new material. I wrote some new songs. I, there's just, there's so much going on in my life right now. And I'm a mom, like I'm a mom. Why did my voice just crack? Am I going through puberty? Oh my God. This is so crazy, you guys. Like you don't understand how big of a deal this is to me. I remember being like 13 years old, sitting at my piano and crying to Stephen Sondheim lyrics, walking around my high school campus with my Walkman, listening to Thoroughly Modern Millie on repeat. Like I, I really can't explain to you how much of a dream this is for me. Like it, it like I know I cried everything, but like this makes me really emotional like to look back on my life and think about that girl who like didn't get into my 
Fair Lady and I auditioned and I wanted to get in so bad and I was 13 years old and I didn't make it and I was in costume crew and then getting my first lead role as Mabel in Pirates of Penzance like when I was 16 years old and being so nervous and so excited and dreaming of one day you know, actually being on a Broadway stage, but thinking it would never actually happen for me. Living in New York City for years, auditioning for anything and everything that I could and performing everywhere that I could, just so I could be in the atmosphere and in the community of people who did what I love and who did what I dreamt of doing my whole life. Like, I, I really can't explain how much it means to me that I get to do this. So I just want to say this to all those musical theater kids out there, do not give up. No matter how many times you don't get into the musical, because that was me. No matter how many times you're in the ensemble when you really wanted a bigger part, that was me. No matter how many times people tell you you're not good enough, that was me. No matter how many times people tell you that you should get a real job or like have a backup plan because being a performer is not realistic, that was me. No matter what anybody says, no matter what anybody says to you, no matter what anybody says, thinks about you like you can do it like you can accomplish your dreams doesn't mean it's gonna be easy like it will be really really hard don't give up because I am an adult woman with a child and it's happening for me it didn't happen when I thought it was going to it didn't happen when I lived in New York and was auditioning and I was in my early 20s I don't know I just I'm really excited and I'm really happy and I want you guys to see it but most of all I hope that this can like inspire some of you guys to like really go after what you love and what your ultimate dream is like you can do it yeah i'm just i'm really excited i'm so excited and i hope you guys can come see me on broadway like oh my god broadway i know if you've been following me a long time you know how obsessed i am with broadway like to the point where i met eric and we went to this like musical theater night at this bar and he knew I liked theater, but like he was blown away that like literally there for hours and every single song they played, I knew every word to and I was belting every word and he looked at me like, oh, you like really like theater. And I was like, yeah. And he was like, now I understand why you don't know any movies and you don't know any TV show because your whole life you didn't watch movies and TV, you only paid attention to Broadway. And I was like, yeah. So so this is an ultimate dream for me and I just can't say thank you enough. I have no words. I'm really excited and I can't wait to see you guys on Broadway. I can't wait to play Dawn in Waitress and I love you guys. Thank you for everything. I'm so grateful for every opportunity I've been given throughout my career. It's because of you guys and I wish I could reach through the screen and hug every single one of you. This would obviously never happen if it weren't for you and I'm so excited and I can't wait for you guys to see me with some big old glasses on and um, acting a fool on stage in Waitress as Dawn. Like, I really can't wait. I am so excited and I am terrified. But me and my baby and my husband and Corey and probably the rest of my family, to be honest, are going to move to New York City and I'm gonna be on Broadway. And oh my God, I am so excited. I'm gonna be on Broadway. <laughs>